of body scanning type exercise that's useful for reassociating and, and getting grounded in the present. All right. Mm -hmm. OK, so start with a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring awareness into your feet using kind of your visualizer to think about the shape of your feet and then your pressure sensors to feel around inside the shape of your feet. Two separate processes, uh, but when you activate both, it does something good for you. As you continue to turn awareness back to your feet, uh, do you notice any shifts in perception or sensation? Not particularly, no. Okay. With your next deep breath, uh, stretch your awareness up to your knees. Using both your visualizer, your thinker, to think about the body from the knees down to the feet. And then using your pressure sensors to feel around inside there. Noticing where there's more sensation, where there's less sensation. And breathing. If the chest starts tightening a little bit while you're doing it, don't worry so much about that. It's the body's maneuver towards release. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if I, I felt that, and, and, and I was like, oh yeah, there's something. My mirror response says there's something that could be going on here, right? All right. Uh, and and if it gets if it gets more and more intense as we go up through the body, uh, then we, we we stop the process and work with it. We don't we don't ignore it. Okay. Uh, with it with your next deep breath uh, stretch your awareness up to the upper legs where you're thinking about the shape of you from the upper legs down to the feet and then using your pressure sensors to feel around inside there just noticing where there's more sensation and where there's less sensation OK, um, how, how, how's the chest doing there? It feels kind of less constricted, let's see. OK, very good. We'll proceed with your next deep breath. Uh, stretch the awareness up through the pelvic region into the lower stomach, the lower back area. Using your visualizer and your cognitive sort of thinker to think about the shape of you from the low stomach, the low back down to the feet. And then using your pressure sensors to feel around inside of you, this whole lower half of you. Noticing and appreciating uh, when it's easy to think about the body and when the mind sort of goes off somewhere else. That's the, the, the mind wandering off somewhere else is as important as um, the ability to concentrate and bring your attention back to to the body. You're basically choosing to be a good dance partner when the body and mind throw you out. You'd say, oh, you threw me out. I'm going to come on back. Will you throw me out again? Oh, you threw me out again. I'm going to come on back. And uh, this is this is this is just part of the process of connecting more fully with yourself in a safe way and in a, an accepting, acknowledging way. Um, any anything in particular you're noticing so far that seems to demand attention? Um, I, would, I don't know about demanding attention, but something I've noticed is I keep like um, my eyes keep on focusing, even when I'm trying to concentrate, and my mind keeps, like you said, kind of wandering off. Um, I don't know if that's mental exhaustion because <laughs> we've done that exercise before. Um, so, oh. mm -hmm. yeah, it could be, it could be. And so, uh, sending a sort of a mental acknowledgement saying this can be tiring. You know, see if there's a feeling that comes back when you when you send that message inside. It kind of feels like it's relaxed into like a bigger feeling, but like it's kind of opened up. Like, okay, it's it's okay to be here. That kind of sensation. Yeah, sometimes a little acknowledgement of the need goes a long way. Another deep breath. As you breathe out, stretch your awareness up to the chest, to the upper back, 
So you're thinking about the shape of you, the shape of Eva from the chest and upper back down to the feet. And then using your pressure sensors to feel around between this upper area of the body uh, through the middle of you and down into the lower areas of the body, of the sort of the form of you. Okay. Uh, uh, any any anything coming up so far as we're talking? Um, not particularly. I, feel, I mean, I feel more grounded. Definitely. Okay. okay, we'll proceed with your next deep breath. Stretch the awareness into the shoulders, the arms, the hands and fingers. Yeah, noticing the upper musculature following its cues if it cues you to move at all. Breathing and uh, using your thinker to think about the body from the upper musculature down to the feet. And then using your pressure sensors to feel around inside there. In the arms and shoulders. In to this upper torso area. Down through the middle of you. And down to your feet. Yeah, following the body's cues. Basically saying, hey, body, you're sending me a message. I'm going to acknowledge it. I'm going to be with it. When it comes to becoming fully associated, and especially if you've had the, that situation where you felt a little checked out and you felt a little bit like sometimes things are a bit too much for me, the, the world is becoming less real, uh, reconnecting in a way that the body feels acknowledged uh, often will come with following the cues, mm -hmm. recognizing if something pushes back, mm -hmm. right? And does the body seem to respond well to your recognition? Yeah, I would say it definitely feels kind of like satisfying. It's satisfying. All right. With your next deep breath, uh, stretch your awareness up through the neck into the chin, jaw and face. Up through the feeling of your head and the space that it occupies. Uh, noticing the shape of you from head to toe and feeling around inside that shape, really activating the sensation of like where the pressures are, where the where the sensation is and where there seems to be blank spots and feeling. None of it's a problem. You're just acknowledging it by turning attention to it. And following the body's cues and responses with open curiosity. I don't know if you've ever seen what it's like for a, a toddler or an infant, you know, a pre-toddler to they, they find their ears and they just decide to hold on like when they can do it consciously instead of just mm. grab, grab because sometimes they just grab. They just catch on to something and grab it when they aren't conscious. But when they finally can consciously feel their ears, you know, or when they consciously start to feel something, um, they just kind of hold for a while sometimes and just get get kind of like, oh, I found this, you know, I just want to feel it, you know. I'm just reveling in the sensation. Um, this this is a natural capacity to be able to curiously stay with feelings uh, and to, to 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 be with the body. Uh, a lot of times, it's one of these things that because we have to override our survival responses a lot of times to do the the, the daily activities of life and and uh, managing the demands that our our situations put us in. Um, we can we can disconnect from that fairly easily, mm. and so. Uh, with this process of reconnection, as you're feeling the shape of you, you're noticing the um, sensation of being in yourself, in your body from head to toe. Uh, how would you describe some of the things that you experience? Um, I'd say I'm definitely getting like a lot of shivers kind of in my shoulder and spine area. Um, but other than that, just feeling a bit more grounded, a bit more kind of self-aware, I suppose. Uh-huh. All right. 